Good evening, I'm Linda Wolf, and I'm a member of the governing board of the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab. I've been on the board for many years, and I never cease to be amazed by the phenomenal work that's done here by both the doctors and the scientists. And tonight, I'm delighted to be able to introduce you to Dr. Monica Perez, who is chair of the Arms and Hands Lab, and whose focus is really on spinal cord injury. We really want to spend some time with Dr. Perez tonight and her team, because they're going to focus on an area called neurostimulation, which I think you'll find fascinating. So in terms of coming to the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab, you came three years ago. Why did you choose here versus anywhere else you could, probably could have gone in the world? So I moved to Shirley Ryan Ability Lab because I love the vision of the hospital. I think clinical research, translational research is extremely important to improve outcomes of our patients. The scientific community at Shirley Ryan Ability Lab is superb and interactions and collaborations allow us to improve outcomes for patients. So you're doing such amazing work here. It would be helpful, I think, for people to understand sort of the mechanics of neurostimulation and how that works and how it benefits the patients. So uh, the unique part about our protocol is that we stimulate broken connections and we try to actually target the biological connection. So it's very precise in terms of the timing. We activate the brain just a few milliseconds before we activate the periphery in order to get signals to the spinal cord. Our patients improve and improve quite a lot. And this is seen in improvements in quality of life. So our goal is to improve grasping behaviors, the ability to walk also, and we have seen in our testing and improvements with the patients. So how does physical therapy come into this as well? There's more and more scientific evidence that we can enhance or improve rehabilitation outcomes by using neurostimulation. So physical therapy is working, but we can make the outcome stronger by using neurostimulation. So he just had stimulation for 30 minutes, is yes, that what it was? Yes, And so minutes. now he's doing physical therapy. Yes, 30 minutes of stimulation. So this is Jim. Jim has been working with us for over a year. She has received several sessions of stimulation and exercise rehabilitation. When Jim came to Chicago, Shirley Ryan Ability Lab, he was not able to walk. Good job, Jim. Very good. So what's the ultimate goal here in terms of patients and what they can benefit? Yes, so right now we are working on a protocol where we stimulate the brain and the peripheral nerve. We used to target years ago a single muscle, but now we are targeting multiple muscles, so the recovery is stronger. So we have spent years on trying to optimize the protocol. I think it's critical for neurorehabilitation to work on protocol optimization. The next phase of the design and the research is to actually combine this protocol with pharmacological agents who allow us to induce more plasticity to a stronger plasticity. So is anybody else doing this around the world? Well, we are the only laboratory in the US that is using the protocol and actually in the world in spinal cord injury. This is a very specialized protocol. Our goal, however, is to transform this protocol and use this protocol around multiple sites in the country. Should we try the stimulation now? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Linda, so you can have a seat. Now, this is the coil that we're going to use today, and we're going to try to activate the hand representation of the primary motor cortex. So this is, generates a magnetic field, and that magnetic field generates an electrical field. Therefore, we can activate structures within the brain. Are you ready? I am. So you're going to feel, and you're going to tell me what you feel, but you're going to elicit, we're going to try to elicit involuntary movements without you actually moving. Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. How was it? I felt it. Yes. Sure. <laughs> but not just sort of a tap, not, yes. not a lot. I'm just amazed how precise it is. OK, so we're done. And it was OK? It was terrific. I, I mean, terrific only from the standpoint I can see how a patient would feel really good about this in terms of it's not so invasive, and yet it's making a difference in their life. The important part is that we can activate connections in those muscles that are very paralyzed. So it's a great way to stimulate the brain. Thank you for trying, Linda. You're welcome. <laughs> So thank you, Monica. This has been terrific. I think we've all learned a lot about the process and the results that you're getting, which are incredibly inspiring. So we really appreciate it. I think we're all grateful for the time we were able to spend with you tonight. Thank you very much, Linda. It has been a pleasure to talk about our laboratory and our patients. And thank you very much. Terrific.